My name is Brenda Kududaj, and I'm in fifth grade at Eastside Elementary. This year, I'm interviewing Elizabeth Almond. She has just recently swum the English Channel, which is Dover, England, to Kauai, France. Since I was swimming myself, I wish to have some advice and to know what it takes to swim the English Channel. I asked Elizabeth what drives her to do all these crazy long distance swims. Just setting goals and accomplishing them and um, just trying to better yourself and seeing how far you can push yourself, seeing what your limits are. Even though Elizabeth is a very fast swimmer, it took her more than 11 hours to finish the English Channel swim. I wonder what kept her going whenever she got tough things in her way. I think I just wanted to finish it more than I wanted to stop it. So you just gotta keep moving forward and until you, you can't move anymore. <laughs> Swimming long distance in the ocean is not just about being a good athlete. It's also about being brave and facing your fear. I guess, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm scared to death of Hawaii. <laughs> Marine life. Um, that's what they call sharks. Um, and um, I have a friend that, well, two friends, they were doing a tandem swim, um, the Molokai Channel, from Molokai to Oahu. And a lot of these swims are also at night, which is like the shark's happy hour. Um, so, uh, and a shark, it's called a cookie cutter shark, and it lives about, I think, 1,800 meters down in the water and it comes up at night to feed. And um, so it's like perfect, the perfect storm of the shark coming up, him wearing lights, and he got attacked. What is your strength and best quality that helps you to your goal? Uh, I'm, I'm strong. Um, physically, I'm very strong. Um, mentally, that, uh, it, when, you, when your body starts to break down, um, that's when you're, you really have to be mentally strong. So um, I would say that I'm, I'm physically strong, so that's probably my, my strength. Do next, I was talking to some friends today about trying to swim the Strait of Gibraltar. say uh, keep swimming um, and um, just follow your dreams. Now that I've heard it from Elizabeth Almond, I think I know what it's like to swim the English Channel. First, you have to be strong mentally and physically. Second, you have to be re you have to face your fears and be brave. Third, you have to train and work hard every single day. Fourth, you have to be ready for whatever comes your way. Now you will see me swim the English Channel when I turn 18.